The Greenville County Library Board has approved a new policy. It will require any books discussing transgender themes be moved to the Parenting and Early Childhood section. Our Carlos Flores has been following this and joins us live tonight with the details. Carlos. Hey, good afternoon there, Gabby and Carol. That's right, the Greenville County Library Board unanimously approved this new policy earlier this week, but one advocacy group tells me they can't help but be disappointed. The Greenville County Library Board of Trustees met Monday, and on the agenda, whether to move the book called Melissa, previously called George, to the Parenting and Early Childhood section. It's trash, and we are taxpayer funded facilities. It's not the taxpayers who need to subsidize trash. The book is a story about a transgender teen. Some trustees felt the decision could lead to a slippery slope. We're going to have an endless string of book consideration requests on both sides, right? Ultimately, the board voted to move the book to the parenting and early childhood section and then moved on to discuss a new policy. The policy would move any books that are for kids 12 years old or younger that deal with transgender themes to be located in the parenting and early childhood collection. These are books that will never be discovered. If you don't walk into the library already knowing that this is a book that you want, then you'll just never find it. The Freedom in Libraries Advocacy Group, or FLAG, has been very outspoken against this issue. Ward believes the move will not only affect people who are a part of the LGBTQ plus community, but believes it creates further separation in the community. If books about trans kids aren't available, then it makes... The, the families who don't know other families that have trans kids, it just increases that, uh, that sense of otherness. Now, I contacted every member of the library board for a comment. I heard back from two, and one provided the following statement, saying in part, my hope is moving forward that the Greenville County Library System continues to affirm that parents are the primary source of education for their children. Uh, to read the full policy and the full statement itself, you can head over to WIFF4.com. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WIFF4.